Hey, he's just unloading the horses. So he'll be here in about 15 minutes. Yeah. You're going to be on my YouTube channel. <laughs> See you later. What do we do with slow. this stuff? Do we take all our shit out with us out back? It'll be 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah, I take all our clothes. Yeah, 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 because yeah. I'm my manager. I got a YouTube back. channel. Hell oh, no. <laughs> no YouTube. There you go. I wish I knew how to work the light on this thing. Huh? Uh, sorry, guys. Claire, Gus is here. I use my flashlight because I can't get very good. Good horses. Good guys. I've had the first time ever, and I've been old enough for a long time. My garage smells like a brewery from all the drinking. I mean, beer all over my bench. Kind of smells all right. A um, couple things. Today we're going to check to see which is brighter this uh, reflective paint or the original white paint in here. So I'm going to assemble this. I'm going to take the battery out of my uh, Venture Royale outside I'll light these both up and uh, we'll see what's brighter I, I was mistaken before this isn't fluorescent paint that I painted the inside of this with this is um, it's the paint you paint your needles with there's a company in Michigan that sells that paint and uh, it's a, like a reflective paint and it's just meant for painting like the numbers and the needles on your speedometers so it's a real reflective paint so I'm gonna try that first see how that compares with this they do sell a white a fluorescent paint, that, or glow-in-the-dark paint, and I wanted to try that as well too. So I'm going to try this first to see if it's brighter, and then uh, uh, then I think I might try that glow-in-the-dark paint, because that'd be kind of cool. Um, and i got two different types of bulbs too. I've got the regular 12-volt bulbs, and I've got some LED ones, if I can find them. So I'm going to go get my uh, Venture Royale battery. There's the Speedo. <laughs> you can see why guys try to fix them better. You can't hardly see them at night time. And there's the uh, tack. I think the speedo looks brighter with the other white paint. Let me turn the whole all the lights off. Let's see what that does. Yeah, the speedo looks a little uh, clear, a little bit brighter. I don't know, not too happy with that. Let me see if I can find my LED bulbs. There's the light switch. Where the hell are we here? Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to tape this thing together to get it assembled right because you got to have that gap in there for the light to reflect around. So it's kind of tricky to do, and I've only got the screws in part way, so that that might be why that's not any bright. I'm not real happy with this. That I was expecting that to be a lot brighter. I'm gonna just paint that with a nice shiny white paint. That's what the original ones are. This came out pretty good. Be pretty hard to see when you get up to this speed though. There's only one bulb in each, and it's on this side and on this side of each meter clock, the British say. I found two LED bulbs, but uh, not the right ones. This is way too big. And I bought this one for the uh, 
the tail light I was going to use. When using LED bulbs, you have to use a negative ground and uh, positive in the center. They won't work in a standard wired British bike. So I'm going to change all the polarity on the bike. Oh well, that's about all I can do for now. Not real happy with that. See, I didn't want to put that together until I figured out you know how bright that was going to be. I want that to be brighter. I'm going to go look for some of uh, the smaller indicator bulbs that are LED online before I put that together. That's it for now.